Hey there, B.W. Cummins with you with a sculpture instead of a drawing tonight. I am continuing work on the Mike Wazowski sculpture that I've been talking about a little bit. I made a prop for it that I'll uh, put a little note to uh, in the description. Made a scream tank. And so I'm going to sculpt a lowbrow or wonky or whatever you want to call it, gross uh, Mike Wazowski. You can also see I did a similar thing with Sebastian the Crab from Little Mermaid uh, a few months ago, maybe. Um, and I'll also include a card to that, so you can go take a look at that if you want to. But uh, yeah, I'm just starting here with uh, some aluminum armature. Uh, yeah, build the armature and, and kind of work out the shape. And the reason I, I did this kind of armature is uh, since he's going to be holding the prop that I made, the, the scream tank, I wanted him slightly poseable. And to give them some rigidity, um, I'm using plumber's putty and uh, or epoxy, and basically it's just uh, almost like a, a clay type stuff, and you cut a little piece off, and it's got a the activators in the core, and the the hardener or the hardeners in the core, and the putty on the outside, and you mix them together, and they harden. And so I made basically the structure for toes, a skeletal system is basically what I'm working on right now. Did hands and I'm doing legs and toes and then I even use that um, plumber putty around the legs um, because I knew this was going to be a you know big fat ball of sculpture and didn't know how heavy it would be so I thought that plumber epoxy around the legs would help kind of strengthen it a little bit. I probably should have done the same thing with the arms but I knew I wanted to make the arms kind of skinny too so I did not. Um, so yeah, here we have the legs and uh, I had the arms and hands. Um, that way I can make individual fingers and they're going to be holding the scream tank. I uh, twisted up some wire for some strength and made a little uh, spine. Bent it around so that I had room for a big gaping mouth because I had, if you go back and look at a couple videos ago, and I'll also include that one somewhere, I made an eyeball and teeth from like uh, dental teeth. The resin that I got off of uh, Wish or Amazon or something. And they're basically realistic teeth that I embedded in clay to look like gums. So yeah, uh, just trying out to see if it's going to fit and hold and bend those things around. But before I harden the clay, they'll be kind of flexible. Of course, I forgot to turn on the camera while I was building up the body with uh, aluminum foil and uh, tape. But now I'm just adding clay, rolling through. I did pick up some new Super Sculpey, the Beige Sculpey, uh, because the stuff I was using before was so old and I think it got left in the heat that it was kind of brittle. Um, one of the things I do, there's the eyeball I made a while ago, one of the things I do is um, use some of that old brittle clay for filler when I decide that he needs a little more, a little more body. Um, it made it super heavy and it also caused it to crack because the old brittle stuff dried at a different rate than the new stuff and it was too thick that they suggest that it was only a quarter inch thick and it was way thicker than that but the cracks are in a place where they don't really show so that's good um, i uh, am putting in the teeth i have the eyeball embedded uh, you can kind of get an idea of what he's going to look like kind of weird and and uh Maybe even upsetting to Mike Wazowski fans, I don't know. But I have a good time doing this, and when I get done, I don't exactly like the shape of the mouth. Not that I can change it very much, because the teeth are rigid, but later on I end up actually ripping the bottom jaw out and uh, positioning the uh, lower teeth to where his mouth is open a little more, and they're kind of set in a little bit better. Um, and it looks similar to this, but it does look different. So here's where I'm taking that apart and dig it out. And uh, just put it back and you can see it's a little more open and a little more of an overbite, which um, I like my drawings to look dumb and I like my sculptures to look dumb too. So this is... I've said this about other projects I've done like this, that this is kind of a doodle just in 3D. I don't, I have kind of a loose plan, but I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do. I just kind of build as I go. And so 
there are mistakes made and I'm not always satisfied with what it is, but sometimes I just get to where, well, I'm this deep into it, I need to finish. And uh, in the end, I think it all comes together okay, but boy, for a long time, I just did not like what I was looking at. Um, yeah, here's where I kind of use both new and old Sculpey to build up the back end to make it a little more round. It was kind of shaped like a sack, and I didn't like that. And then I'm adding some spots just for some different texture to break them up. Um, and, you know, like kind of warts or something to make them a little more, you know, lowbrow. And I just keep doing that. And now I'm building up some legs. Um, I think, I'm pretty sure I hardened the, the main body at this point so that I could handle them without damaging them. And so adding these legs is a little easier when the body is... Uh, cooked, baked, uh, so I'm not like messing something up. And I, I do, I cook this thing a lot throughout. I get the feet on and then I cook it and then I get one arm on and then I cook it and then I do the other arm just so I don't damage delicate little fingers and stuff like that. Those toenails are something I made when I made the eyeball a few weeks back. Um, and they're just, they look like he's got some kind of fungus in his toenails, which I like little different than the real Mike Wazowski who has more I think pointy toenails these are more like uh, old man in sandals toenails and just about plugging away you know shaping moving things around trying to get semi-realistic and anatomy detail like calves and ankle bones and stuff like that but it, I know it doesn't matter in the long run but, you know, just for me, I, I put that in there. Then I start putting together some hands, or at least one hand. I made the palm out of the plumber putty, so, because I knew I just wanted big, you know, hammy hands to hold up that scream canister. And just made some fingernails and some knuckles, and I kept these really rough. The great thing about the way, the way I sculpt and my design style is... I get away with being a little more sloppy than other people who sculpt like this because a lot of the a lot of that just lends itself to my style. I I don't want it to look like I, you know, cut corners, but I certainly can be a little rough and like I didn't even go over this with uh with a uh, Sculpey softener that and you would use that to get rid of fingerprints and smooth things out I didn't even use that stuff. I just got it as smooth as I could by hand and again with my sculptures I don't mind if you see a fingerprint every once in a while. It's a sculpture. It's like, you know It's okay that it has that stuff. It was made by hand and I, I don't mind it looking like that um, This is just gonna sit on a shelf somewhere. And it's not for sale. It's not doing anything so it can it can be a little whatever Side, I was going to add a tongue hanging down, and then I thought, hey, it didn't look very good, so I made it pointing up instead. Put a lot of texture in it with a little ball, like the smallest ball tool I have. And then I'm just adding some, you know, wrinkles and interest lines. And I scribed some lines in there before I cooked the, the main part of the face. And there, now everything's cooked and ready to go. Let's start painting. I just put, uh, you know, kind of a medium brown, I mean a medium green on there. I know I'm going to add lights, and I don't know if, I thought I was going to do dark, uh, like do a dark wash at the end, but I kind of like how it looked after I did this medium green and then a lighter green on top of it. And uh, I think my, the real Mike Wazowski is a little bit brighter um, than mine, but... There's a lot of things different about the real Mike Wazowski than mine, so I think he's green. Oh, also the horns that are on there, I I completely forgot about them. Like, uh, so I I made them just to kind of look like almost antlers. The base of them kind of looks like uh, deer antlers, the little bumpiness, and then I just super glued them on uh, because I completely forgot. And they, I think they're kind of important to identify. Mike Wazowski is Mike Wazowski. And I was going to leave those nails that brown color, but I thought, eh, I'm just going to paint all the nails in horn so that they're uh, consistent. 
because I, it would have been hard to match those nails that I did, you know, a long time ago. So now here I'm just, I made mix some white with that green I had and I'm dry brushing uh, just to get the high, you know, high spots and it gives it a lot of mottled texture. I end up going around and around until I build up because this thing can be pretty light um, because like, because the real Mike Wazowski is pretty light. And yeah, the, the mottled texture it gives is, it just adds to the, to the, the depth of it and all that. Um, yeah, I just keep spinning it around and around until I'm satisfied with the color, but I don't think you can see it in this video very well, but there is a lot of texture uh, from the two colors of green. And um, once I'm done with that, I think I go in and paint toenails and horns and fingernails with a little bit of brown. I use a, you know, medium brown and then I add white to that and then go back and add some just dry brush some high spots on both the uh, toenails fingernails and horns so that they are all consistent they all match these uh it's funny the smile on this guy because of the way his teeth are and I don't even say this to be mean I was probably mean about it when I was a kid but I swear he looks his smile looks just like a girl I knew in grade school I won't say her name, uh, but anyway, yeah, it's it's uncanny. I wish I, there's only a couple of people who I could ask. Do you agree with me? And I, I'm sure they would, but I think it'd be mean to ask. I'll just keep that in my head. Anyway, I added some red, just a red wash to the tongue to get like some, you know, in the deep spots. I added a little bit to the gums to make them a little pinker. I added some red to the eyeball. And just let it kind of fill the the outside and then i drew with a little ballpoint pen some veins in the eye now i'm painting the spots a little bit lighter again just for some varying texture and i, I really like the way this is looking i mean it's, i don't want to compare it. other people do better sculptures and that's great um i spent a lot of time on this uh, over the days. This is my busiest time of year, so I'm squeezing in a few minutes here and there and just trying to get this thing finished. The last thing I do is go in with some uh, Liquitex uh, high gloss varnish. I hit the teeth and the gums and the tongue and the lips and then I hit the eyeball and it kind of kind of smeared the uh, the veins on the eyes a little bit, but it didn't ruin it. it they still look bloodshot. And so it just makes the, all that stuff look wet and nasty. And so I put the thing in his hand, I glue it, and here we go. Mike Wazowski, a lowbrow Mike Wazowski. Hope you like this sculpture. Uh, take a look at the other bits and pieces to this, the uh, screen canister build and the eyeball and all that stuff. And hey, watch my other videos. There's only 180 of them. So uh, it's a good way to waste a bunch of time. Um, anyway. Uh, if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe, and uh, if you have any questions about this, please ask in the comments, and you guys have a great day. Bye now.